Lucky and Siobhan got away. It's not a problem. We move the sister to Inishmore. First thing in the morning, we'll go out and we'll kill her. I don't appreciate being summoned out of bed in the middle of the night. Your retainer is not sufficient. No, my retainer is non-existent. You're off the payroll. Indeed? Yeah. Indeed. Just caught your investigator breaking into my place to send me a message on your behalf, and you know what? I don't accept messages from you. I pay you, and now I'm firing you. So go back and pack your bags. Go back to Manhattan. I'll call Diane in the morning. And consider yourself lucky I'm only firing you. Lovely. I look forward to escaping this backwater and diving back into a city that offers real culture. I hope there's no hard feelings. I do wish you great good luck in finding another attorney who will uh, protect Miss Barrett's interests. She requires a special kind of handling. What does that mean? Well, I, uh, I questioned Brenda one night. I was quite easy on her, all things considered, and yet our Brenda fell apart. She confused one shooting with another, hiding behind hair and evasive eyes. Any reasonable, competent prosecutor would make mincemeat out of her. I can't worry about that anymore. Uh, how about your nephew, Michael Corinthos? Can you spare any uh, worry for him? What about Michael? Now, correct me if I'm mistaken, but Michael is paroled into Detective Falconer's custody. Once uh, the detective is implicated in a murder cover-up, ah, well, at least they won't be separated up there in Pentonville together. Hey, Abby. Hi. How you doing? Good. So, how did tonight go? <sighs> well, can we start with the fact that I hate therapy? <laughs> it's torture. Sitting there trapped like a rat for an hour, talking about things I didn't want to remember when this guy looks at me all dispassionate. I don't know. He asks questions that I'd probably kick his ass for for anywhere else but his office. He writes these stupid notes in his notepad like I'm some crossword puzzle he'd like to finish before he goes and trades in his Mercedes. <laughs> How do you really feel? I'm sorry. You asked, so... I did. You know what? And I'm glad that you can be honest with me. Are you gonna quit? No, no. I, I said I'd give therapy a shot, so I'm gonna stick with it. You're an inspiration. Uh -huh. It's true. I mean, I'm proof. I'm going to follow your example and try to be as brave about what I'm about to face. What are you talking about? While I was all bruised and battered in the hospital again from Brandon, I... You know, I just... I realized that I don't want to live my life like this anymore. Perched on the dark side of everything, trying to stay balanced. I know the feeling it's a scary place. It all ties together. You know, Working at a place like Bonds, doing what I do, it, it attracts a certain element. I mean, the money's great, but it's it's like a drug. And I want to get out before I get seriously addicted. So I've decided that I'm going to quit stripping. Well, yeah, Abby, that, that's great. Now, John Zakara might not think so. so he, he gave me an advance when I needed to pay my tuition. It's gonna be kind of tough to come up with the money to pay him back. Uh, I'm gonna get some resistance. Okay, well, I'll go and see him with you, um, for more support. No, I, I wouldn't no, you didn't. ask you, didn't. you to you didn't. do that. I mean, if you're sure, I would really like that. I'm sure. Look, I know Johnny, so me talking to him might help. Oh! Oh, you are... So busted. I thought you said you were exhausted. I was exhausted. I was. Uh, and then I got home and I was awake, so I thought right. that I would get some french fries. Mm. I still got that, that bottle of Merlot way in my place. That sounds better. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, it's not all. I do have a recording of the opera we saw tonight. It's one of the best performances of that aria I've ever heard. We could hold on to the magic, <laughs> you know? Well, it's better.
better than, you know, you sitting in your apartment wide awake and me sitting in my apartment wide awake. Why don't we hang out together? <sighs> okay. Okay, but for, like, 30 minutes, that's it. I'll take it. Come on. You're accusing me of sabotaging your wedding? That's crazy. It all fits. You have access to Jason's apartment, this house, all the wedding plans, right? Jason's guards confirmed you were there the day her wedding dress was slashed. You stay at the Metro Court. Carly could leave her business cards lying around. You could pick one up, plant it at the uh, at the pavilion. And you and wasn't she there when the yeah, she when was it was there. passed around? The, Did the... you do this to me? No, Brenda. Please oh. don't. Please don't lie to me. Brenda, you've got to understand. You are like a daughter to me. Oh, my God. Brenda. I trust Brenda, you. Brenda, I just did it to save your life. Oh you used God. the danger to manipulate Brenda. No. No, to show her how serious the danger was. I've been here since the beginning, Sonny. I was here when they tried to kidnap her more than once. Almost slashed her face. Don't you see? But by, by marrying Brenda, you're challenging the Balkan to, to come after her. Why can't you see that? Look. Look, I, I know you're furious at me. Everything I did, I did to protect you. Prison is one rough road for a kid. But Michael seems to have come out of it okay. <laughs> tough, but don't think he hasn't suffered. Thanks to Dante, Mr. Wonderful. Do I detect the gleam of impending revenge in those eyes? You warned me not to frame Dante. Turns out I didn't have to. See, I have proof that Dante is a liar. And he even signed off on it. Take a look. This is a custody agreement between... Brenda and Dante. Mm. How about them apples? Dante has given up all custody rights. Did you manufacture this? No, I would, but I didn't have to. Wow. <laughs> what are you planning to do with it? I'm going to drop it like a bomb at Sonny and Brenda's wedding. Once Judge Carroll finds out that Detective Falconeri is himself a felon, well, he might be compelled to resentence young Michael to his full term in Pentonville. What a pity that would be. You heard Jason, you're fired. No, no. Get no. the hell out Sam, of here. Sam. He's right. I'd like you to stay on the case. Please, you just gotta put your focus on the case. Just stay out of my business. I will act in the best interests of my client. You do realize you just gave Hoffman a master class on how to manipulate you. Michael, hey. Hey, come on in. Thank you. Have a seat. Can I get you guys anything to drink? Uh, no thanks. I'm good, thanks. Uh, I, uh, I heard about your attack. I'm very sorry. If there's any action that you need me to take on your behalf, please just let me know. The cops are handling it. Okay, well, if you ever find that you are dissatisfied with their efforts, let me know if there's anything I can do. All right, in the meantime, I'm beefing security up in and around the club. I want my girls safe. Actually, that's what, you know, leads me to want to see you. I'm done with stripping. I just don't have it in me anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you understand. Yeah. But just so you know, there could be some complications. You know, the truth is that you don't care about me or my happiness. 
May have been trying to run Sonny off this whole time because you're afraid that he would have some bad effect on my fundraising potential, right? That is not That's true. That's absolutely true. It is true. not true. I was trying to protect no, you. No, no, you weren't trying to protect me. Remember how excited you were when Murphy asked me to marry him? Right? You were so excited he's going to make me more famous. Why? Because that's going to make you more cash, and that is all you have ever cared about that is, is the money. Bull. If you told me you were walking away from charity work tomorrow, I'd give you my blessing. And you and Murphy? Brenda, he was the first man I ever saw you with who made you laugh. What are you he was talking about. You. Yeah, and I'm, I'm horrible, because you've been consistent with that. As at this point, what you are has nothing to do with anything. There is not a person in her life who doesn't know that the Balkan is going to target her at your wedding. I was the only one who had the balls to do something about well, it. I don't want you out of my life. So just. Stay out of it. Well, I guess you'll be needing this. You know what? It's good that it's out in the open now. We get to deal with this, okay? Um, I know she was your friend for a long time. Matter of fact, they're the whole thing, right? And, uh, I know she did the wrong thing, but maybe deep down she was thinking she was protecting you. And I know how you're one of the most forgiving people that I know. You've, you've, you know, you've been there for me. Let me back in your life and everything. And listen, the bottom line: we get married, all right? Okay, we got to move past all this kind of. Maybe it'd be good to. Shine some light on this, okay? Get over this betrayal. I am sorry, Brenda. I'm s oh so sorry. Hey. How did you have him scare this up? After I found out that Dante lied about guarding Brenda in 2007, it was easy. I just kept digging to find out what else he was lying about. Finding out that she was knocked up by his brand new son is gonna flatten Sonny. If you're gearing up to talk me out of using this document, you're wasting your time. I'm not. Uncle Luke approves, Caroline. Thank you. Do your worst. that you have this song downloaded. It's so beautiful. You're beautiful. You're the love of my life. Ugh. Don't take advantage of a weak moment. Well, I'll give you one good reason why not to. I betrayed your trust and scared you. You have every reason to be reassessing and protecting yourself. All I'm asking is that you leave a path in your heart open for me. I know I made a mistake, but it doesn't make me permanently untrustworthy. I'll prove it to you if you let me try. Maybe. I love you. This is Leland Spencer. It's always been you. Only you. <laughs> God help me. I love you too. Holding on to this, biding my time. Watching Brenda plan her wedding day with such excitement. Watching Dante wrap Lulu around his little finger. Waiting for the opportunity to blow them all out of That's the water. That's right, because they deserve it. Brenda's a lying bitch. Dante's even worse because he hides his lies behind a badge. Well, that ought to bring him down a peg or two. That's the goal. <laughs> you know, Caroline, I completely understand what you're doing here because, let's face it, I've spent half my life plotting revenge against the Cassidy clan. And revenge is sweet. But there's always collateral damage. 
And you never know when or who it's going to hit. You might want to consider that. Look, I know that you gave Abby an advance on her salary to help her pay for school. Um, Good, and I'm so grateful, Mr. Zakara. The manager at Vons would have never done that for me. And I will make sure that you get every cent of your money back as soon as I start working again. And look, if you don't want to wait, I can just pay you back. It's not. No, Michael. You, you can I just you can pay me back instead. It's fine. That won't be necessary. All right, I, I can wait. But you may find it harder than you realize to meet this obligation and to keep up with school and personal finances. So just keep this in your back pocket. All right. If you choose to come back to Vaughn's, your job will be waiting for you. That is very generous of you. I think I'll be okay, though. I thank you for your understanding. Yeah, my pleasure. It's always nice to have a Corinth. That's all you want. Your love and concern for Michael is all over your face for anyone to read. Theo just used that to manipulate you, and he's going to do it again. Jason, you should stick with your first instinct and cut him loose. That guy is bad news. Agreed. But until I know how bad... I, uh, I want to keep Theo close. You set him up. I wanted Theo to believe that he found uh, an angle to work me. And as soon as he thought he did, he got a little too pleased with himself. Theo's just showing me who he really is. I'm a vengeful person. You hit me, I will hit you back harder. Especially when it comes to my kids. Michael's been through hell, and I hate it because he doesn't deserve it. But I hear you when you talk about collateral damage. Michael cares about Dante. He thinks of him as a brother, and I can't stand it, but that's the way it is. I know that Michael is going to be devastated when I announce this at the wedding and point out that Dante is a big fat liar. And Sonny? He just makes me so mad. All of his stupid choices, one worse than the last. But no, he doesn't deserve to be publicly humiliated in front of his kids, especially for something he didn't do. Handling all this information is going to be very difficult on no. to begin with. Wait a minute, wait a minute here. Are you working your way around to an alternative? Well, action? thanks to you, yes. Okay. I could let go of the spectacle aspect. Mm -hmm. I could confront Brenda before the wedding, show her the information I have, and leave it up to her to disappear. And if she says no... I'll pass her off. <laughs> See, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing that Suzanne was the one who did all of those things to sabotage the wedding. And, you know, that it wasn't Carly this time. <clears throat> it was beautiful what you said to me. You've changed so much. Why did you get so forgiving? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I kind of know what your life has been like these past years. Glamour on the outside and lonely underneath. Blaming yourself for a man's death when you acted in self-defense. It's hard. But I know Susanna was there through all that time, yeah. Giving you some focus. And I'm grateful that, uh, that you weren't completely alone. <laughs> it's been a productive evening. I have Jason Morgan by the throat. <laughs> How about you? Sonny and I reached a truce. For Brenda's sake. It was quite an emotional moment. How delicious. You would have been proud. I gave a heart-rending performance. I was so noble, so <laughs> devoted to Brenda's happiness. Did they buy it? What do you think? <laughs> you are a formidable woman. 
I was wise to marry you. Mm. Don't you forget it. <laughs> I've missed you during this tedious separation. I've missed you too, but uh, we have to remember we're laying the necessary groundwork. Yes, we are. And we'll soon have all the time in the world together. After Brenda Barrett finally pays for killing our son. The timing of the lawsuit against Brenda and Dante has always bothered me. How it was conveniently filed the, the minute Jerry Jacks hits town. So, we can reasonably assume that he was hired by the Balkan. Okay, but what does that have to do with Theo? Okay, what are the odds that the perfect guy to defend Dante and Brenda shows up days later? An associate of Diane's who happened to specialize in this type of law. It's just too many coincidences. Oh, wait a minute. So you think this is a um, carefully constructed plan? Yeah, and I want to investigate the family that instigated this lawsuit and every lawyer involved. Because if the Balkan hired Jerry, it's possible he hired Theo.